Hello students, let us see this problem. This problem says that there is a uniform ladder of length L. We can assume this ladder to be just like a rod, right? So there is a rod of length L which is initially in almost vertical situation, right? So it is almost vertical as shown in the figure, right? So once this uh, rod is gently pushed towards the right, it will start sliding down. All the surfaces are smooth. All the things are completely idealized. And this question says after some time, this rod will lose the contact with this vertical wall. And at that instant, you have to determine the horizontal component of the velocity of center of mass, right? So center of mass will be somewhere there and its horizontal component you have to determine at the instant that when this rod has just lost the contact with the vertical ball, right? So this will be the right time to pause this video and start doing this problem on your own. And after solving it or maybe not able to solve it, uh, if you're not able to solve it, you, you can see the solution. So let us begin with the solution, right? So after some time, the rod will be making a rod have rotated some angle and it will be something like that, right? So at that particular instant, what is going to be its motion? We can say that the motion of this rod at that particular instant can be said to be purely rotational motion about the center of rotation or instantaneous center of ro rotation. How do we get to ICR? Since this point is moving in the vertical direction, make a perpendicular to that and we are getting this horizontal line. This point is moving in the gr on the ground that is in the horizontal direction, make a perpendicular to that and point of intersection is called ICR, right? So about this ICR, let's say this rod is uh, rotating with angular velocity omega. Since the ro rod is uniform, the center of mass is here at the midpoint, right? So we are getting a rectangular shape here. This is a rectangle. This length is L by 2. This length will be L by 2. This length will be L by 2. This length will be L by 2. Just by looking at the symmetry of or using the geometry of, you know, uh, rectangle, right? So this angle after some time has become theta. And you can see here that the center of mass has moved down, right? In the vertical direction. It was initially at a height L by 2, right? When this rod was vertical, the height of center of mass from this ground will be L by 2. And at this instant, it is less than L by 2, which is equal to basically, if you make a right angle triangle here, something like that. So this height will become this hypotenuse into cos theta, right? L by 2 cos theta. So this height has decreased. That means the uh, potential energy has decreased and that potential energy has gone into kinetic energy since initial kinetic energy was zero so the total change in kinetic energy is basically equal to kinetic energy at that instant so let us determine that omega right so how we can do that we can uh, write this conservation of mechanical energy equation mgl by 2 1 minus cos theta that is loss in potential energy will be equal to gain in kinetic energy half i omega square right so this i is actually about the icr right so we can get the value of i by applying the parallel axis theorem about center of mass this is ml square and these two uh, the distances between these two axes is actually l by 2 so we are getting i as ml square by 3 now substituting this value we are getting omega equal to this much now we will be moving towards the main part or crux of this question right what is the crux of this question we have to determine the value of uh, vx right so if we take the x value towards the right right so center of mass is velocity is x component what will be the velocity of center of mass at that particular instant in terms of omega that is very easy to say because at this instant the center of mass is actually moving in a circular fashion about this icr so with the radius of l by 2 this is moving in this direction so the velocity of center of mass will be perpendicular to this line along this line right so along this line it will be moving with velocity omega into r which is actually equal to l by 2 right and we'll make a component of that along the x direction and we'll get the x component of velocity of center of mass right something like that if we see here vx will be omega l by 2 cos theta now the uh, the crux of this question 
we are we have to determine this value vx when the normal reaction has become zero right the normal reaction from the wall because the uh, this rod has lost its contact with the wall so the normal reaction will become zero what is happening till now right what is happening till now is the that there is always some normal reaction towards right right so if there is some normal reaction towards the right before that point we can say applying newton's law that n will be equal to mass into x component of acceleration of x component of acceleration of center of mass let's call the ax to be acceleration of center of mass as x component right we can apply this n equal to mx since n is non negative that means it is always positive ax is always positive what does that mean that ax is always positive that means vx is always increasing and after that point when it has lost the contact the n will become zero and ax will become zero that means the vx or velocity will horizontal component of velocity of center of mass will remain constant so before that point it was always increasing just at the point when it has lost the contact it has reached to its maximum value so we can apply the you know principles of maxima and minima since vx is maximum at this at that moment vx square will also be maximum and vx square value is uh, will be getting like that cos square theta minus cos cube theta term and we will apply this maxima minima thing dvx by d theta to be zero because acceleration of uh, center of masses x component is zero at that instant will get the value of cos theta to be 2 by 3 will substitute cos theta equal to 2 by 3 here first and will get the value of omega then will put the value of omega and cos theta here and will get the value of vx as root of gl by 